there was darkness, and then bang, giving birth to an endless expanding existence of time, space, and matter. Every day, new discoveries are unlocking the mysterious, the mind-blowing, the deadly secrets of a place we call the universe. It bursts from the sun with the power of 10,000 nuclear weapons heading straight for Earth. Think of totally destroying the power grid of an entire continent. Television, radio, internet, all down. So is running water, fuel deliveries, food and groceries across the globe. These storms have a planetary footprint and the potential for loss of life is quite large. Within a year, millions of people are dead. National infrastructures are ruined and may never come back. This isn't a disaster film. This is a 2009 research report from the National Academy of Sciences, and some say the global catastrophe it outlines may be coming soon. We're overdue. Solar magnetism. Why is it so deadly and so misunderstood? And is there anything we can do to escape the magnetic storm? Spring 2013. The northern lights dazzle millions in the night skies above New York, Chicago, Washington, D.C., and across Europe. These auroras are the result of a coronal mass ejection, also known as a CME. It's a massive magnetic flare from the sun. The extreme magnetic field is like an explosion on the surface of the sun, and it's 10 to the 25 joules worth of energy. That's 100 million times more energy than the largest nuclear device that man has ever made. Billions of tons of solar material fired off into space, electrically charged, magnetically polarized, aimed directly at us. These things are the size of, well, they're 100,000 miles across. They're, they're a third the size of the sun. So it's like accelerating the whole Mississippi River and making it move at a million miles an hour toward the Earth. Scientists at NASA's Goddard Space Center observe the solar flare. But the CME is moving faster than anticipated. 90 seconds after citizens first see the northern lights, most of the continent goes dark. The magnetic storm sends ultra-high voltage through power lines across North America. It creates a really strong magnetic field that induces another current and so on, and the current gets so strong it melts the wire, and then you've got a lot of energy being released, it explodes the transformer. Giant transformers explode in city after city. All electricity disappears. So do communications as satellites are burned out. There are no phones, no television, no radio, no internet. The whole infrastructure would be damaged. We wouldn't have communications. We wouldn't have so many different things. And the electricity will not be coming back. We could damage enough transformers in one storm that would take several years of the entire world's manufacturing capability to replace all of those damaged transformers. Without power, infrastructure collapses. The first thing to go, water. Without electricity for pumps, city tap water will go dry within a day. The same is true for gas pumps and gas stations. Without fuel, national trucking stops. So do food deliveries to grocery stores. People can't leave the cities because their gas tanks are empty. They can't use their credit cards or ATMs without electrical power and phone connections. No power, no gas, no food, 
no water, and no end in sight. Think of totally destroying the power grid of an entire continent. We would be basically put back in the dark ages. And no help is coming. Since the magnetic storm has devastated the entire northern hemisphere. These storms have a planetary footprint. They extend not only across the entire continents, but arguably across the entire planet. It's not just a magnetic storm. It's a magnetic apocalypse. There would be billions or even trillions of dollars of, of lost economy. And that's not the only thing lost. The consequences and the potential for loss of life are, are quite large. Perhaps taking out a third to a half of the population of the civilized portions of the world. Sound unlikely? But that is exactly the conclusion of the National Academy of Sciences report from 2009. A magnetic storm from the sun could wipe out our technological infrastructure, killing millions of people and destroying much of what we think of as 21st century civilization. It's not just guesswork. A solar magnetic storm actually knocked out power to Quebec in 1989 blacking out an entire Canadian province. But that storm was small. We're seeing storm events over the last 30 years or so that jumped up literally 10 times larger than that 1989 storm. A new generation of solar satellites has revealed just how big these solar flares are and how vulnerable our planet is. As society, we are not prepared for a long-term blackout of the power grid. Can this scenario be prevented? Possibly, but only by understanding one of the most basic forces of the universe and one of the least understood, magnetism. Magnetism is key to understanding a lot of physics because it affects a lot of things. It affects how stars condense. It affects how galaxies form. It affects how black holes collapse. Magnetism is everywhere and in nearly everything. It is one of the four fundamental forces of physics, the forces that keep the universe itself together. Physicists have identified four fundamental forces at play in nature. There's a strong nuclear force that holds atoms together, the weak nuclear force that also has to do with holding together particles and atoms, and gravity, with which we're all familiar, and then electromagnetism is the fourth. Electricity and magnetism are really one and the same thing. For something so fundamental, magnetism often gets overlooked. Besides holding notes on your refrigerator, magnets rarely show up in an average person's daily life. Magnetism is not something that we normally deal with. You can't feel a magnetic field. You can run a, a magnet over yourself and you don't feel a thing. So it isn't part of our daily experience.